Could there be a genetic link between pessimism and our family history? Could there be a genetic cause for pessimism? Could there be something in our DNA that creates an individual who normally would be optimistic to be, to be pessimistic? Hey, David Essler, for the past 45 years now as a counselor, number one best-selling author, a master life coach, so many different roles that we play here. And you know, I've, I've looked online as much as I can to see if there's any kind of genetic link to pessimism. I can't find a thing. Uh, in many cases like depression and anxiety, they still haven't found one gene that is causing depression or anxiety. But if a person has multiple specific genes lined up, they could be predisposed for depression or anxiety. I haven't seen anything like that with pessimism. So what creates pessimism? Pretty much our environment. The the environment we are raised in will create either an optimistic or pessimistic attitude. Now, it's not 100% guaranteed. You could have an optimistic dad and a pessimistic mom or vice versa. You could have two optimistic parents and you could come out as a pessimist. You could have two pessimistic parents and you can come out as an optimist. Now, the odds of that are getting lower and lower, right? The longer you live in a home where there's pessimism, where there's gossip, where there's everyone's always looking at the glass half empty, the odds are you're going to take some of those traits with you. So then it comes down to, is it genetic or environment? In my opinion, it's purely environment. Uh, when we're in an environment from zero to 18 and we're hearing over and over again how terrible these people are, how terrible that person is, how the economy is never going to be good, how we're never going to recover from COVID or whatever is going on in people's minds, we can easily become influenced. Oh my God, the subconscious mind back here is like a sponge. It takes in everything from the environment as if it's real. So when you're raised from zero to 18 and you have pessimism in your house, you just believe that's natural. You believe it's normal. You might go over to your friend's house and go, wow, they're weird. They're really optimistic. <laughs> but you really have to come back to the reality that this is something that we're learning in, in the environment. Can we change it? Oh my God, yes. But we have to do changing of belief systems. We have to change the subconscious mind. We've got to clear out everything that we absorbed as normal, that pessimistic negative attitude, always looking for that glass half empty. We have work to do, but we can do it. We've done it with thousands of people. Listen, in 45 years, I don't think there's one issue the human race has faced that I haven't faced as well. And I love this work. If you want to become a more optimistic, if you want to become someone that's more of a goal getter instead of a complainer, if you want to walk away from gossip, if you want to walk away from complaining, if you want to walk away from negativity, contact me at talkdavid.com. My Lord, everyone has a reason right now to be negative. Everyone has many reasons that we could say life isn't fair. The world isn't fair. The United States government isn't fair. We could go on and on and on, but it's not going to make a difference until we switch our attitude. And we can give you a thousand different tools in order to do that. Visit me at talkdavid.com. There's five books there for free as well. And let's get in that optimistic attitude. Now, I'm not talking about Pollyanna, you know, where everything is great and everything's great and everything's great when things aren't great. I mean, I deal in realism. When things suck, I will say things suck. When things suck, I will ask for help from my therapist. Just like I'm saying, hey, I'm here for you, right? So we don't want to get into that identity where that we're always complaining about the smallest thing which is happening right now all over the world. The answer is at talkdavid.com, and I will look forward to seeing you there. Have a beautiful day.